I just pulled up one of our state ornaments in uh, Adobe Illustrator right now. And I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, change uh, the text around the outside. Um, I've been asked uh, by quite a few of you for this tutorial. And also if you are allowed to change the text on the outside. The answer to that is uh, yes. Feel free to adjust it. Um, like if you want to cater to your own customer base or to your own area, it's a good opportunity to add uh, things that relate to where you're from and where you're selling these. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Uh, so first, what you're going to do is you want to just click on uh, that text on the red uh, scored text. Um, and you'll see that it is already ungrouped. Um, so go ahead and hit the delete button. So select delete. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the ellipse tool, which is in, like, I think, the shape folder here. So I want to make sure this one's selected here. Click anywhere on the screen, and it's going to give you um, the size that you want, right? So go ahead and punch in 3.55 inches uh, in diameter, and that's a circle. Uh, so 3.55 on both sides, and press OK. That's going to give you this shape here. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to drag it into the center point. And once you have that lined up, so it's equal space all the way around, um, you're going to leave that there for now. And what you're, what, you, what you're doing with this is you're just creating a path uh, for the type to go on. Okay. Uh, so now you're going to want to go to your text tool here, your type tool. You're going to hold it down and you're going to look for type on a path tool. Okay, so go ahead and click that one. You're going to go back to that uh, circle you created, and you just want to click on it. When you click on it, it's going to add some default text, okay? But you can see uh, the direction we're going and what we're, what we're accomplishing right now. Um, so you could go ahead and you could type all the whatever you want in this area. I did create, um, just quickly to not waste time, I have some uh, preloaded text here that I'm just going to paste in which is a bunch of the uh, cities in Washington, okay? So let's go ahead and let's highlight that, that text here. And the font you're going to want to use, it's going to be Helvetica. Let's just search. Helvetica New, and it's going to be ultra light, okay? And the reason we're using this font is because it's super thin. Um, one thing about Illustrator is it just doesn't like single path fonts. So this is still a double path font, but it's super thin. So it's going to score this twice. It's going to score the inside and it's going to score the outside. But what that's going to do, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to look solid and it's going to look like a, like a nice, uh, dark engrave or sorry, dark, uh, score. So now that we have that, we just want to fill the space. Um, you could add more if you want. Um, there's a couple ways you could fill it. Like you could bump up the, t the, the text size or the font size by just increasing it here. So like something around there is good for me. 15 looks good, but it all depends on how many uh, words you're adding and how much spacing you have. Uh, for these here, I spaced them just with like two spaces. Um, and I did that all the way around so it's uh, it looks equal. Um, we still have a big space up here. So what we could do now is we could change the um, the tracking on it, which is this here. Um, so what we could do is we could start increasing it. And as we increase it, you could see that it's increasing the space slightly between each character. Okay, so we could space them right out and we could fill it. So it's an equal space all the way around, okay? So that looks good to me. Um, you could go ahead and review it. Um, you might want something centered at the top here. You'll see that there's like this little bar at the bottom, and that's just to rotate it. All right, so you could just switch it around to whatever direction you want. Um, so now that we have that, you're pretty much done. So what you want to do now is you want to convert that to an object. So you want to go to the type uh, at the top. And you want to create outlines. Okay. So now what that's going to do is now your your um, 
changing all that type to an outline. So you can no longer edit this. So now it's all like just a single uh, graphic, okay? Um, so now that you have that all together, go back and you want to change that to the red. That's pretty much what I use for scoring. And now you have all the cities on there instead of um, what we had on there before, and it's just customized to your customer base. Um, so you could go ahead and you could save that, and you could uh, just upload it to your, your cutting software, and you should be good, okay? Um, next, I'm going to show you how to do this in Inkscape and Silhouette. Okay, so now let's look at Inkscape. Um, we're going to update the, the text around the outside, so we're going to remove this and add um, some custom text to whatever you like, okay? So a couple things with Inkscape. Um, when you import something uh, that's been created in um, Illustrator, it's going to scale it incorrectly, okay? So uh, Illustrator works at 72 DPI, and uh, for whatever reason, Inkscape imports it at 96, okay? But there's a simple fix. Uh, we also have a PDF in our group. Uh, in, in the file section, they'll show you exactly where to go to adjust that, okay? Um, so you can see up here that it says it's uh, three inches in width, which is incorrect, okay? So let's go up to File at the top, go to Document Properties. Um, you're going to see this uh, pop up. And first thing you want to do is you're going to change the display units to inches. From there, you're going to see uh, down here, Scale at 96 uh, uh, units per inch okay uh, so what we're going to do is we want to change that to 72 and when you hit tab you're going to automatically see this thing to adjust to the right um, size um, also what i like to do is i most like to take off the border the page border because for whatever reason that does not uh, scale um, inkscape uh, is very difficult to use um, because uh, it is extremely buggy uh, laggy and uh, there's tons of glitches so uh, continue to save your work as you go because this thing crashes quite often uh, for me at least I'm using uh, like a brand new Mac and uh, it, it, it's not great um, so now that we have that scale to the right size let's go ahead and look at how we could change this this text so let's go ahead and delete what's there so just give it a click and hit the delete button okay so now that's gone Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit your uh, circle tool here, or ellipse tool, and you're just going to want to create um, any size circle because what we're going to do is you can't actually um, create a size. Um, you need to just create a circle, go back to your select tool, and then up here you could change the size of it, okay? So let's go back and use that 3.55 inches. That we're using okay um, and you can see up here you could switch between them right so we're going to work in inches next we have this here um, it's best to use this while it's filled uh, that way you could rotate the text I'm going to show you that um, so what we're going to do is we're going to want to go to fill and stroke you could find that up here as well so if you click this this menu is going to open up here so right now it is filled so uh, for argument's sake let's just put a quick stroke on it as well and we're gonna take off the fill okay so let's look at this and let's line this up to where we want it we got it close um, and unfortunately Inkscape doesn't um, it doesn't uh, anchor to any points uh, like it does in Illustrator I believe still it does it it does as well where you move it around it will show you the center points of certain objects so that's not gonna happen so you kind of just have to eyeball it uh, to me, that looks pretty good. Um, if you're off a little, it's not going to make a huge difference. You won't even notice it. Um, so now that we have that, let's just go back and let's reapply that fill. Okay? And let's remove that stroke. Okay? This is the easiest method that I found uh, that works. Um, so now that we have that, um, what we want to do is you want to go to the top where it says uh, path, and you want to drop it down to object to path. Okay, so now it's creating this as a path, okay, instead of an object. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and add our, our text, okay? So click on your, uh, your text tool here, and 
uh, for argument's sake, just like the other video, I had a bunch of text already uh, uh, already written. So I'm going to go on and copy that on my other screen here. Um, and let's go ahead and paste that in. So edit, paste. And you're going to see all the text uh, come in there, okay? Uh, so for whatever reason, it imports it at like such a huge size. So let's scale it down to uh, 12 so it's more manageable. And let's go ahead and change the font to Helvetica New. And it is ultra light, okay? Let's go ahead and find what we just did. Okay, so we have it there, okay? And uh, sorry, all the, the commands are different in Illustrator and uh, this program. So the zoom tools are different in every different shortcut. So let's work there, okay? Um, so now that we have our text, and we have our uh, circle that was then uh, created to a path. We're going to want to select both at the same time. So once you have that selected, hold shift, select your text, and then go to the text drop down at the top, and you're going to want to say put on path. Okay, so now it's going to put that text around that path you created. Okay, um, we're still not done. We still need. Uh, probably to increase the size of the font. So we can go back down to the text tool here and let's bump it up to 14. Looks pretty good actually. So actually 14 is perfect, okay? I'll give you an example. If you if you wanted to do like 13 point font and you just wanted to fill that space there, you're gonna see these tools up here. And these, this, these are like um, the, the tracking tool in Illustrator. So go ahead and select all your font there. And then this here is going to create increase the spacing between the letters. Okay. So essentially you you, you can do either, whatever you like. Um, at this point it's all kind of a preference to how you want it to look. So for argument's sakes we'll just use the 13 point font um, and we'll just space it. And what I'm doing is I'm making this space look equal to this, okay? So now that everything looks equal, um, if you want, you could actually scale this a bit larger. And uh, I think if you hold, let me just go back for a second. I think if you hold it down and hold shift, it makes it, um, you can see that it scales everything proportionally and it, it, it expands it from the inside out. Um, so I just did it a little bit and that's gonna center it um, a little bit more. So now that we have uh, the text where we want it, what we want to do is you want to reselect the text. You want to go back up to path and go object to path. So now that you did that, you could go ahead and you could delete that center uh, circle and it's just going to leave everything there on that path. Uh, at this point, um, select that text and then you could change colors. So I use red uh, for score. Um, so color toolbars at the bottom, you could just select um, a red text. Or, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. From this point, everything's ready to go. All you got to do is file save as uh, the SVG, uh, name of your choice, and then uh, import it into your software. And you should be good to go. Thanks. Okay, so let's take a look now at Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove the text on the outside of our ornaments and add your own custom text so you could cater to your audience or your area where you live. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, select uh, this tool here, the Select tool. Um, go ahead and click that red text anywhere on it. And it's all grouped together, so all you're going to have to do is press Delete on your keyboard, and that's going to completely get rid of that text. So now let's go ahead and create our path, okay? So to create our path, we're going to use uh, the circle from the drawing tools here. So go ahead and make sure you have the uh, circle selector, the ellipse tool selected. And let's go ahead and start uh, drawing a circle, okay? So click, uh, click down with your mouse and hold it. Um, at the same time, if you hold down shift, it's going to create, it's going to keep the proportions of that circle. So it's symmetrical, okay? So let's go ahead and 
go into that 3.55 inch range range so you could see that I have it there um, it's okay if it's off by like 0 0.001 inches it's not going to make a difference um, so go ahead and you want to center that circle um, around that edge just like we've done in the other videos um, so once you have that there uh, that's good that's going to be uh, that's going to act as your path and so that's where the text is going to end up going okay so once you have that go ahead and click the text tool and let's go ahead and click anywhere on the screen and add some text okay um, the font that we we're looking at was uh, Helvetica new and if you come down here and drop this down you're going to see all the other fonts in that family and we're going to go to ultralight okay so we have Helvetica new ultralight selected and let's go down let's take this down to about uh, 13 points um, which I think was the uh, around the the right size that we needed okay so I have some uh, preloaded text that I've uh, that I've created already and I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in um, so just to save some time um, you guys would just go and type in whatever text that you want in this area a um, couple things I double spaced it just to give it a little bit more space between them um, and that's pretty much it once you have this, all your text that you want entered, you're going to see this little icon to the left of it. And what you're able to do with that is you're able to drag the text right onto that path that we made. And it's actually going to cling right to that path. Um, and you could see that if you pull it off, you could, you could add it to other paths as well. Okay, so that's just kind of like acts as like the path tool for silhouette. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's leave that there you're going to see that there's this big space um, so what we could do is we could um, so let's reselect that that text and let's uh, take it up to uh, 14 points give that a try 14 hit enter and you can see that there's a still a little space to correct that uh, there's a couple ways you could do it you could come down here to the character spacing and let's try like 104 percent you can see that closes it up basically the character spacing is just going to create a small little space between each character and it's going to fill up that that area for you uh, alternatively um, if you want to bring that back down if you don't want any spacing you can just come up back up here to the uh, to the font and you could just try something a little bit smaller like 14.2 14.3 and you're going to see that it's just going to keep filling up that space so that way you're going to keep the uh, spacing between the letters um, so I think that looks pretty good um, the next thing you could do is you could rotate it up at the top here so you could rotate it to whatever words that you want on the top so once you have something that you like um, what you do is you click back onto the text you go up to the top where it says object and you'd come down and you'd say convert to path okay so that text is now uh, not text anymore it's not going to be editable anymore so you can see you're unable to go into it um, it's not going to be an object so from here you're, you still see that line that path that you created but since we changed this to an object it's no longer following that path so you could go ahead and click on it and then hit delete and it's actually going to delete it right off Okay, so now you're just left, left with your text, and you can still fool around and, and move it around as you like. Um, so once you have that done, all you got to do is press uh, File, Save As, save it as an SVG file, and upload it to your, your laser software, and uh, you should be good. All right, thank you.